our understanding of the Sabbath is one of the most critical junctures in our theology. And overwhelmingly today, Christians in our culture assume what they believe about the Sabbath and are completely unable to define or defend what they believe about the Sabbath. You talk to 10 Christians out there on the street, 10 people who identify themselves as Christian out there on the street, and nine of them are going to tell you that there is no longer a Sabbath command. Nine out of 10 are going to tell you that there's no longer a Sabbath command. Let me go, let me say eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 are going to tell you that there's no longer a Sabbath command, that it's, that it's done away with. Now, they're also going to tell you that the rest of the commands haven't been done away with. So individuals are going to say, on the one hand, we're no longer obligated to keep the Sabbath. We're, we're obligated to not have any other gods before God. We're obligated to not make graven image and worship idols. We're obligated not to take the Lord's name in vain. We're obligated to honor our mother and father. We're obligated not to murder, not to commit adultery, not to steal, not to bear false witness. And we're obligated not to covet. All of the other nine were obligated to. But commandment number four is no longer an obligation for us. Eight out of ten are going to tell you that. Ask them why, and they won't be able to tell you why. Maybe they'll say, well, because the others are mentioned in the New Testament, and this one is not mentioned in the New Testament. Now, set aside for a moment that I would argue that's not true, that there are a number of places where the Sabbath command is reiterated in the New Testament. But the question that you then have to ask is, and what makes you say that the Ten Commandments are done away with unless they're mentioned in the New Testament? 